All right, guys. So today we're going to do something called a canoberry or koi fish kite, um, which is made for Japanese Children's Day. I love that there's a Children's Day in Japan. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, fold our paper in half. This long and skinny. So fold it in half. Call this hot dog fold. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw half of a fish. It's going to end up looking a little bit like this. All right, so I need the flat part of my fish to be on the fold. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So the folded part of my paper is going to be right here. So there's the folded part. So I got to make sure that I'm drawing the curvy part of my fish going away from the fold. This is the flat side of my fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up at the top. I'm going to kind of draw a line going down. And then it's almost like a rainbow shape. So rainbow. And then I'm going to stop. Make sure you've got this little space right here. And I'm going to go straight down again. Or if you want it to go over a little bit, you can do that if you really want like a flared out tail. And then I'm going to do kind of an upside down V. That works for me. All right, so once you are done with that, so you notice that the flat side is on the fold and the curved side goes away from the fold and you've got your little tail at the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing our fish. And I'm going to, on this little curve right here where I started my rainbow shape, I'm going to do a wide letter M going to this side of the paper. When I'm done with that, I'm going to do a big smiley face. And what this is, is I'm creating the head of my fish. So you can see on um, this, this is the head of my fish. So I just did my M and now I've got to do that smiley face. So right here is a big smiley face. And I also need to give my fish a little fin. So I'm going to give him a little fin. And I'm going to do another little smiley face. There's his little fin. So from here, I love the Kenobri. Um They have these big googly eyes. Let me show you guys a picture of what these look like. So they have these big googly eyes um, and they're lots of fun colors. We'll talk about that in a minute. So we're going to give it a big googly eye. So somewhere in the head, I start with a little one, and then I'm going to do another one, and then I love to do a little extra. It looks like a big googly eye. It's so much fun. It doesn't look like a real fish. And then um, what I'm going to do, just so I don't lose my fin, I'm going to put some little stripes in my fin so I remember that's the fin. Okay, so this is where we make the scales, and this is repetition. So this is going to be a pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some W. So I'm going to go W, right, W. And then I'm going to do another W, or you can call them U's, I guess, U and a U. Now, this is where you kind of have to have some strategy to make it look like scales. If you just want to do a bunch of U's a bunch of times, that's, that's fine. That's a little bit easier than what we're going to do. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go from the bottom of this U and I'm going to go to the next U. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to the next U, the top of the, the next U. There we go. I should say the bottom of the next U. Oh, I can probably fit one right there. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I'm going to go from the bottom of this U and I'm going to go to the next U. And I'm just going to kind of make that up and go off. All right, same thing here. You, you, you. All right, I'm going to keep going. All right, make another U. I kind of make it go off so it looks like it's completely covered in scales. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get to the end of my rainbow right here. Um, I could probably fit a bunch of little ones. They'll look good. All right. And now I'm going to add some lines for my tail. So I'm like, oh, yep, here's the tail, just like my fin kind of matches. All right, so I have half of my fish done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the colors I'm going to use. So if you guys remember, 
we've been talking a lot about warm colors and cool colors this year so let me look at a color wheel and kind of remind you guys so half of the color wheel is cool colors let's go a little closer here so half of the color wheel is cool colors and then half of the color wheel is warm colors. so if you split it in half right cool and warm so our warm colors are like colors of the sun or fire or hot chili peppers right and then the cool colors are like water or the forest or maybe mountains um, so you're going to choose two sets of um, partners of warm colors and cool colors so we get something uh, that we call contrast so it looks really really different from each other and I'll show you what I mean so I'm going to choose a cool color mm, cool color and a warm color Ooh, I like those two together okay and then I'm going to choose another set so how about purple and another warm color how about yellow all right so I chose those two you can use crayons for this you can use colored pencils you could use markers anything you've got so what we're gonna do is I'm going to with one set of my cool color and warm color families my little partners I'm gonna do the eye the fin and the tail so let me show you what I mean so I'm gonna do the eye I'm gonna make a pattern I think that would look really good so I'm going to color in my eye with those colors. And you can color this in however you want. Maybe you want to make stripes in your eye. Maybe you want to do a pattern with shapes. It's your eye. You can create whatever you want. So I'm going to color in this part so you can kind of see. It almost looks like a, a pattern, like I should be doing an AB pattern. All right, so I did my green and my orange here. Let's see. I'm going to do my green on the top of my fin and then I'm gonna do my orange on the bottom of my fin I'm gonna do the same thing with my tail so I did green okay and then I'm gonna do orange okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other uh, color partners right one cool one warm and I'm gonna do the kind of color in the outside of my shape the outline of my shape I'm gonna color that in with one of those colors maybe you want to do it with the cool color maybe you want to do it with the warm color I'm kind of doing mine with my cool color and I'm gonna keep going all the way around to this shape I like it and now I'm going to color inside the shape with my warm. And this is, you're really showing the difference in these two colors. Because they're in two different color families, they create a contrast, which means a difference. And they look good together. Okay, so this is how we're going to color in our scales. I'm going to color the bottom of each scale in one of my colors so I'm going to do it with purple but maybe you want to do it in your warm color I'm going to color the bottom of the scale right and then the top of the scale will be in my opposite color or the the different color that was the partner to that color okay so I'm going to keep doing that all the way down I'm gonna go really fast. It looks better if you take your time. You guys know this. I'm gonna cheat a little bit when I color in with my yellow, you'll see. Because the purple is a little bit of a darker color, so I can take my light color and just color over it, you'll see. Okay. And my hand's getting tired. Keep going, keep going. This is kind of a long project, but it ends up looking really cool. You guys know that in our art class, whenever we take a lot of time on something, it's really worth it. 
because when we're done, we're super excited about what we've made. So I'm going to kind of cheat. I'm just going to take my yellow color in everything. Cheater, cheater. It's okay. It's my art. I can do what I want. All right. So I have half my fish done. And when you open this up, I don't have another half of my fish. So what I'm going to do first so that I get another half of my fish is I'm going to hold this together. And just like how we've done a lot of projects this year, we are going to cut out our fish. So what I mean by that is we're going to cut both sides together. Now, this is where a lot of my students make a mistake. Do not cut this piece off. Don't cut out the mouth. Leave that alone, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to cut this line right here. But notice, I'm leaving that attached to my fish. We need that later, okay? So then I'm going to turn and I'm going to cut out the rest of my fish. Turn, cut out, okay? And now I still want to cut out the end of my tail. Cut one side, turn, cut the other side, which is much easier to cut out uh, triangles that way, is cutting from two different angles instead of trying to turn your scissors right there. Okay, so this is going to be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up now, and I'm going to start with the M at the top. See, I can kind of see where I'm supposed to put my M. It doesn't have to look exactly like it, but it can be close. And I can also see where my smiley face is. So I'm going to make my own smiley face. And now i got to put another eyeball. And I put one, two, three circles. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. And then I'm going to do a fin. I'm going to do one close to here. All right. Oh, and I've got to do my scales, right? So I'm going to go you, 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 you. And it does not have to look exactly like the other one. But you are going to go from the bottom of the U before. And keep going. I'm going to do. Ah, there's a big scale. That's okay. These are all kind of silly looking. All right. I'm going to keep filling this in. I know I'm going fast, but I want to save on some time. Oh, and I can't forget about my lines on my tail. Now, for this other side, you can choose some different uh, colors. So let's say I wanted to do uh, green and red, or maybe um, yellow and I don't know, blue. Maybe I wanted to do these color families, right? So um, I'm just at the same time, I'm just going to go ahead and continue with what I've got. So I had yellow and purple, um, and I'm going to do it the same way. So I colored the outside all the way, right? And then I colored, oh, it was green. Orange, right? You're gonna you're gonna do that. You're gonna finish this whole side. So imagine that that is done, so that you're gonna have two sides to your fish. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it together so that you get a finished one. So finish this whole side before you put it together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. So flip, and I am going to take this top part right here and fold it down. So notice. I'm not folding it all the way down. I don't want the mouth to show. Just fold it down like this. Okay, and this is going to kind of help us pop the mouth open so he looks like he's got a fish mouth. Okay. Um, I'm going to put some glue just on the rainbow and the end of the tail. You can also actually put it right there at that edge. And then I'm going to put glue going all the way down and then just the side of the tail don't put it on the that upside down V don't put it there that means you'll close the the tail off so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this back up Oops. 
didn't want to go. Close that back up. Now imagine that this side is done. That looks kind of boring, just white. Okay. You guys should have crayons or something at home at this point. But if you don't, and you're just using a pencil, it's still going to look great. So it's still very flat. Now, it will be easier when the glue dries, but what you can do is you're going to take this mouth and you're going to kind of open it up. And the whole thing can actually open up. Sometimes I've got to stick a pencil in there to pop it open a little bit. It comes like a tube. All right, and even better, you could um, pop a little hole in the, this part right here. So I'm going to put a little, little hole right there. Make two. No, one's fine. And if you had a string, you can string like this and hang them. They're supposed to be little kites. Okay, so um, that is the project for today. If you guys want to try to make a Knobbery, a uh, koi fish kite, they are a whole lot of fun. And we're also practicing with our warm and our cool colors. You're practicing with pattern. Um, and you're also making something that's a little bit 3D. It pops open a little bit. All right, have some fun.